So these small reactor projects are starting to pop up all across the country. A drive from Virginia to Pennsylvania alone would have you cross five small modular reactor developments in just five hours. But where are these reactors coming from? And why does nuclear proliferation suddenly seem to be in vogue? The development of small modular reactors, or SMRs, can be traced back to the early 2000s, when the DOE began supporting and funding the research and development of advanced reactor concepts. Since then, multiple companies, including NuScale, Holtec, and Westinghouse, have led the way in creating various designs. The key factor for an SMR is the modular part of its name. It means that these reactors can be built in factories instead of on location, and operations can be easily scaled up and down based on need, a far cry from the massive cooling towers we often associate with nuclear plants. The widespread expansion of AI and data centers, as well as recent geopolitical events, has emphasized the importance of diversifying energy. We're now seeing big tech companies, major energy developers, and even universities investing heavily in SMR technology. But with our first operable SMR just on the horizon, we look to be standing at an inflection point in American energy.